Good morning, my sweet boy. Good morning, my sweet boy. Did you do that? Thank you. Thank you. You may have made a massive mistake here. Ciara and my dad went, picked up an ATV yesterday. I was in the bathroom getting ready and I just see a black streak fly by the window. And my dad, <laughs> I just said, I just saw a black streak fly by my bathroom window. <laughs> Do you want to you yeah, they were like, we need an ATV for farm stuff. Yeah, there's so much stuff for work we need an ATV for. You said you And now, you, yeah, and then it's like, it's me, Mario. Yahoo! <laughs> Mario and Luigi. Look out, Rose. She okay. doesn't have a coat or shoes on, yeah, Papa. Noah, look out, buddy. See you later. Do not win over us. It looks pretty scratched up. Twelve years. I won't go flying. Yeah, please don't. We picked it up last night, and your dad was like trying to remember how to how to drive it, and he's like, "Yeah, this one's reversing that close to just backing into their Honda Odyssey." <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> I wish you could see her face. So only time will tell if this is the biggest mistake of our, or the biggest mistake purchase we've made thus far. <sighs> For the farm. No, no uh, but in all seriousness, ATVs can be incredibly dangerous. So it really is for farm stuff and only to be ridden. <laughs> Did you hear her laugh? <laughs> Uh, and only to be ridden with Papa or Mom or Dad. The kids aren't allowed to drive it themselves. Yeah. Take Noah real quick, real quick. Okay, come on. Hurry. She's got to be frozen. Come on inside, come on, babe. Come get a jacket and shoes. Hey, I show Dad. Anyways, but yes, ATVs can be incredibly dangerous. I actually have a friend whose son recently got in an ATV accident and he lost uh, his whole right hand. We had a friend in high school that was paralyzed. That's right, that's right. One of our good friends from high school. It was right after high school that it happened, but he got in an ATV accident and he's been paralyzed from the waist down. So I don't usually give a lot of PSAs. I do my thing and tell people to make your own choices and be responsible, but I do feel like with ATVs, I want to make sure I'm very clear that they're not toys for kids in our house. This is a farm. You say hello. Say welcome to the vlog. Good morning. Except it's not really morning anymore, but that's okay. Better point. Yeah. Who are you pointing at? Hello. Yeah. Who are you pointing at? Yeah. You're so silly. Okay. So. Ciara was gone quite late last night, going to get the new ATV. Have you? How much have you gotten to drive the ATV? Not at all. Yet. Not at all? Need to learn. Yeah, need to teach. Oh. Yeah. You need to teach you. You don't know how to do it. Yeah, Am I crazy? Is it not just? Is it? I mean. I haven't even tried. Personally. I'm sure I could Google it and figure it out. I guess I, in my mind it's like a Barbie Jeep that there's just a go button. So not a go button? No, I mean, it's, there's different gears and you gotta learn how to shift it and stuff like that. So. Oh, so it's a, like a manual? Kind of, yeah. Oh so boy. It doesn't have a clutch. clutchless. I don't know how you have a clutchless manual, but that's all right. We need something to eat, don't we? Do you want something to eat? The little goats, we'll go check on them in a minute. Uh, they are doing really well. They are growing. They are wearing sweaters because that's the kind of thing we do around here is put goats in sweaters. <laughs> they were bigger, they weren't so tiny. And it wasn't that cold when they came. It's not been that cold, yeah. It's not been that cold until the last couple of nights. It just gets down into the 30s and 40s. And so we don't want them, they're so tiny. We don't want them to get too cold. So um, we've been putting them in sweaters. So it might seem impractical, like we're just trying to dress up the goats, but we're really not. It's an effort to make sure they stay warm. I pre-ordered this when she posted about it on her Instagram. 
Dolly Parton song teller. So this is like a book basically about all of her different songs through the years and like the story behind um, why she wrote them and stuff. And it's got lots of really beautiful pictures of like dresses that she's worn. Yeah, and like the lyrics to different songs and like I said, like the story behind them and everything. Um, Y'all know I love me some Dolly. So I was quite excited about this and it's really a beautiful like coffee table type book that um, I can set out. And I think it's lovely. I also ordered, but it hasn't come in yet. I think the shipping thing said it'll be here this week at the end of the week. Uh, so I'll show you guys in the next vlog, hopefully, but William Sonoma had like a Dolly Parton cookie cutter Christmas. So cute. It's like a Dolly Parton baking set. I had to have it. So that is on its way to me and I think we'll be here Friday and we can make some Dolly cookies. You want to make some Dolly cookies? Mmm, yeah. Rosie wants to make some Dolly cookies. Let's do it. Mm. Yeah, so it makes sense. Okay, I've got my coffee. I'm gonna come sit in here for just a second because I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I'm not gonna like sit here and go into a bunch of nitty gritty because I already did in another video and I don't want to waste your time in this vlog, but we are very excited because if y'all remember a few months ago, um, myself and my friend Dawn and Lisa from here on YouTube, uh, Dawn is the minimal mom and Lisa has Farmhouse on Boone. We started like a homeschool membership group and um, we've actually decided to expand it beyond homeschooling because there was just so many more topics that we wanted to talk about, uh, about parenting and raising kids and marriage and all of that. And we recently did a book discussion about the book, The Self-Driven Child. Uh, Sierra and I talked about it and like how much it was challenging us and stuff. So Dawn and Lisa and I ended up talking and we all agreed that we really wanted to just completely revamp and expand the group and change it. So we changed the name of it and everything. So now it's Better Together um, and it's a membership group for people who really just want to focus on family and putting family first are looking for community and support and encouragement. There's a ton of content in this private group because we do like four videos a week. Plus we do lives, we have experts come on and we do like Q and A's. Um, we do our Zoom book club, which is super fun because we get to do a Zoom so we all get to like see and talk to each other. So I'll put all the information down below in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. Um, I, like I said, I did a video on my personal channel all about it, so I'll link that as well and then I'll link to uh, my post on my website where you can find out more about the community group. So yeah, so enrollment is only open November 18th through the 25th. We only open it up a couple few times a year. Um, so if you want to check that out, I'll have all the information down below in the description box. I think that we're all really looking forward to this and really excited about it because the group is already so amazing and now I just feel like it's going to get even better as we're able to expand topics and um, CR is going to participate a lot more in the group and doing different stuff. So are the other ladies' husbands as well, so we can talk about like fatherhood stuff and motherhood and marriage and all of that. So I'm looking forward to it. But I hear the men folk outside playing on the ATV and my children are needing me. So I'm going to take my little snack, my chessman cookies and my coffee. working on this assessment pack that I got um, at the beginning of the school year. I'll link it in the description box if anybody is interested, but it's like a primary assessment pack. So it gives you basically like three times a year. So like beginning of year, middle and end um, that you do these different assessments for your like elementary age kids. And it's covering obviously like reading math stuff, but it's also like life skill stuff, stuff that you might not think about um, evaluating if that makes sense uh, so anyways I've I've really enjoyed it as a great way like in a very like tangible way to keep track of where the younger kids are at with certain things um, so yeah anyways you like I said you do it like sort of beginning of year middle and end and um, I really like it so I'll link it down below if you want to check it out but what are you guys doing look at the twins what are you guys doing? Yeah, Ivy! These are so cute. Okay, so the twins got these little hats from Old Navy and they're furry boots. 
And then um, they both got the little jean jacket with the fur collar. I love it. Do you want me to fix your hat a little bit so you can see? Okay, I see. Mom, do you see her trying to do her tricks? Watch, Lizzie. Can you do your tricks? Up. And then and then can you do your spin? Spin. Oh, Benji, you got stuff all in your hair. Okay, gosh. Good. But you're wearing Rosie's coat. Where's your coat, silly girl? Are those good? All right, which one of you is going to come in and do your assessment next? I need one of you. Don't both good? volunteer so Look quickly. Who's out. coming? Yeah. Noah or Jonah? Me, me. So Jonah, you're up. Yeah. Come on, come inside for a few minutes. It won't take long. Come on. Viviators. Viviators. Where are you going? Hi, are you waving to Papa? Whoa! Ivy Wivy! What are you looking at, Swan? I feel like he's staring into my soul. Or she. That's definitely a she. Hello! Whoa. Hello, polar bear. Nice to see you. You've been digging, I see. Oh no. Where have you been digging? You're all, you're filthy. By the, by the tree. By the tree? Dude. The swing tree. Ooh, you gonna come say hi to the horsies? Hi. You gonna watch Papa? Papa's having too much fun on this thing. Well, hello, El Capitan. Hello. Nice to see you again. I was eating my hat earlier. Azzy, watch out for nails. Watch out for nails. Oh, watch out for the nails. You're such a good boy. Oh, you're having so much fun, aren't you? Benny, you wanna say hi to the horsies? Benny gets a little bit startled. Let's see if I wanna say hi. Wanna say hi? Good boy. He's got big ears like your dad, huh? He loved me. A yeah, Coop, feeder. Coop is pretty friendly. He's a friendly guy. No, all of them love me. They because, do. Pick up a green how shirt. Can, how can they not? I mean, you're such a cool kid, right? No, they eat. They want to eat me. They think you're a piece of grass? Ow. <laughs> hey, Ruth. Uh, oh, these, these two love playing. <laughs> they're best. I think they're best friends. I know, Come here, ass. Huh? Oh, hello. Oh, oh whoa. Hey, Ruthie, go. Is you underneath the car, Dad? Yes, Ruthie was underneath the car. Come on, Ruth. Playing in the front. Just a girl and her pig. Hello, boys. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Hey, Coop. Well, hello, little lady. You're looking rather cute today. What do you think of this horse right here? Yeah. Look at Benji here. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> Say bye, Papa. Bye, Papa. And he's off. He's going. Hi. Where is he going? Hi. Dad, where is he going? He's going to uh, drag the lo drag the lower pastures. Get all the horse poop broken up and spread out. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Nice moves, dude. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Are you scared? Is that fun? So I can film them. Do they like raisins? They love raisins. Oh. Raisins are their favorite. Are raisins your favorite? Are they your favorite? Oh. Stick on her now. Hey, Ruth. I mean, great. Look at those human eyes. Look like you have eyeshadow on, Ruthie. Yeah, her eyes get really dirty. Okay, don't give any them. raisins to the dog. Dogs oh. don't get raisins or grapes. I know, I'm not giving him any raisins or grapes. Okay. All right, see you later, ass. Okay, I'm whipping together dinner. Oh. We're gonna have some broccoli, roasted broccoli. We all love roasted broccoli. Yeah. Love it so much. And some salad to go with our spaghetti. One of you guys used to have a funny way that you would say yeah, I do spaghetti. Do you remember? Paschettis, that's right. Paschettis. Who said that? I don't remember. I think it was me. Yeah, maybe you. Paschettis. I also so, said pepperoni, pepperoni. That pepperoni. was me. I also said pepperoni. Onion. Which one of you? That was you. Who said onions instead of onions? Onions. I also said peppy jack cheese. Yeah, peppy jack cheese. Can I call them mints 
and grandmas have something weird too. Have ones. Have ones. Because when you were like one, she would always want to have one of the dinner mints, like those little candy dinner mints. And so she'd go, I have one, I have one. And then she just called them, I have one. <sighs> Funny. All right, girls are making goat bottles. Warming up the milk for the goaties. And uh, they are spoiled, but that's okay. Look, looky. Today, Lottie came and sat with me in my office, which is also my closet. Um, the twins are outside jumping on a box on the trailer, it looks like. Oh, geez. What? Jonah just jumped off or Noah and missed and landed on his face. Um, I'm hoping that. <laughs> Later in the week, it's supposed to warm back up a little bit, and then I'll do my outdoor decorations. But kind of a baby when it's really cold. Huh? I said we need to give the baby goats baths. We need to hope one yes, we need it to warm up. We want to give them baths, uh, especially baths. little Tiana has and like some poop baths. stuck to her butt hairs and stuff. But yeah, animals can't have baths. Well, we're not going to give the animals a bath when it's this chilly outside. It's just um, not fair. Because they can't, you know. I guess we could blow dry them. We could use the blow dryer and no, blow dry. Was, yeah, for the we baby. We could get the baby goat's yeah. bath like yeah. tomorrow because we do it in the bathtub, not yeah. outside in the house. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't really matter for them, but it's for more like the dogs yeah. who bathe them outside. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, the dogs. Pigs are gonna have baths we'll inside because they would not hold still outside. The, the pigs are gonna have baths inside. They will not hold still. Oh, this is our oh, white bully. bathtub. Okay. No, All right. Well, you happy now? You gonna help me? I love having him be able to like sit here while we're cooking or doing whatever. Uh, it's just like, I always said that I wanted a kitchen island for that reason. Like I wanted my kids to be able to sit around and hang out and talk to us while we were in here. And that's exactly what we do with this space. And I love it. Like the girls, Kennedy and Shelby will come sit in the chairs right here and just talk to me. If I'm in here, uh, Rosie is pretty much always on her perch, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, on your perch right there with her notebook, drawing, yeah. writing, working yeah, on something. That's right. Always right there. Mm -hmm. um, and then Benji hangs out right here. And so I love it. It's exactly what I wanted and always talked about in having like a heart of the home kitchen. Yeah. is a kitchen that feels like the center of the home where all the action is. And that's exactly what this space is for our family. Like. If you ever like are looking for us, we're we're always in the kitchen. Like there's, we're always like that's where the center of all the action happens. And people might be in the, um, you know, playroom area, and you might have somebody chilling on the sofa in there. But for the most part, all the action, everything's always happening in here in the kitchen, and I love that. So anyway, speaking of, I'm gonna get back to my cooking here. I got my broccoli there. Got to get my seasonings on it. My oven is screaming at me. Drop the pasta in a minute. And that's it for today's video, y'all. Don't forget to check out uh, the community group down below in the description box. We would love to have you. People are already introducing themselves in there today and it's so fun. I'm really looking forward to this, especially as we approach the holidays and like giving each other ideas and just, you know, figuring out too like ways to simplify and make the holidays meaningful and yeah, I'm just I'm just feeling all kinds of good good feels today and excitement about it. So be sure to check out the group down below. Join us if you'd like. And that's it for today's video, y'all. I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> bye bye. I knew that the harp is never light Felt like the sun can't get